I just realized that I've never eaten tiramisu, specifically Italy tiramisu, if you know where I'm going with this. I would love to have tiramisu with Kelly Stamps in Boston. Happy Halloween. It is Julie with an eye here today. I went to Boston for just a day. I really wanted to walk around because I feel like there's something to be said about Boston in the fall time. It's not a never have I ever um, because I've actually been to Boston before. I lived there my junior year of college, which was like three years ago. I got a job there over the summer, but I feel like there's a different type of environment and vibe that is produced by fall time in New England. So I really wanted to go back. I think the craziest part of that entire thing is that the night before we went to Six Flags Fright Fest. <laughs> Hi. 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 And we're literally out until two in the morning, woke up at eight and then got on the road at nine. Can you start the long Oh, okay, ready? Look at her. Who? Hey guys, welcome back to Julie's YouTube channel. Hit you up half past nine. Can you explain why you wanted to wear your sweatpants? I was not sitting in the car for four hours. Julie, you didn't hear my story. So now story. she's gonna change. Okay, what's the story? So when I went to go to the. Oh, do not enter! <laughs> I went to the bathroom at one of the rest stops and I was in between a mom and her daughter. Daughter goes to the mom, mom, can you get me a bag of chips? And the mom goes, okay. Then there's a pause and she goes, I just want to make sure you say through. And the <laughs> girl goes, mom, this is a once in a lifetime event. Even if I'm, I can't eat, I'm going to eat. <laughs> That's literally what she said and I... <gasps> what a good it. life motto. Even if I can't eat, I'm going to eat. Yeah, she's like, mom, I'm going to make I really wonder where they were going. Like, what were they about to eat? Oh. I love this place, but it's really my mom's favorite. Her choice was Wahlburger. It is a great burger place, so that was our first stop. Maybe I can go to Paris. Save on shore to the Arctic Trail. Thank you so much. Sarah, what are you doing? Do you even know how she looks? And then after Wahlburger, I really wanted to go to Boston Park. I did go there in the summertime with my best friend. We worked at the same place together and it was so hot. We went on the swan boats, we had some boba tea. It was beautiful, but at the same time, it was so hot that it was like unbearable to sit outside. This time it was like cool and breezy. There was like a lake in the center, so we were just kind of walking around. Oh my God, that squirrel is so fat. I love it. It's so, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I love it. Oh my god, that dog is so cute. I'm in love with that dog. Then we went to Acorn Streets. I didn't know what that was. My mom threw that in there because it was next to Boston Garden. But it was just a cute, like, exactly what you picture Boston to be. Like, the epitome of Bostonian culture. Cobblestone Road, brick building like it was very picturesque and on this street there were people lying so i was like wow the street must be pretty magical you know for all these people to be lined here i literally it was just a street like okay not to hate because it is a beautiful photo i'm not mad i went 
it was right there, but I wouldn't go out of my way to go there again. I took a bunch of photos up for my sister. <laughs> this might seem a little ironic because I'm a YouTuber, but I don't like having my photo taken. If I could step out of my body and take my photos for myself, I would. There was another street a little bit down. We walked along the following streets. It was like everything I wanted, like that street. There were some houses that were decorated with like Halloween stuff. It was just so like beautiful and everything that I, I wanted to see. I don't like a lot of like stimulation, like a lot of loud noises or like just people, like crowds. I hate it, but I love looking around at places. Like I just like to see things. I like to walk outside. I like quiet environments where I can just like take everything in. It was just beautiful. I get to walk around my family and I took some photos. So I really liked it. And then after that, our last stop was Venue Hall. Mom and dad, would you ever live in Boston? <laughs> it's kinda crazy. <gasps> the kinds of things life throws at you. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't turn like that. Ooh, look at those. That's so cool. And in Faneuil Hall is an amazing cookie shop, which is called the Chip Yard. Time for the main event. Boston Chip Yard. Got another candy apple. How much is it? Oh my god, for that? This is the berry twist. I hope it's good. I'm a little bit freaked out about how all of these are stacked. I'm so happy that you're the famous pie. Open it up, flip it open. Ooh. That smells so good. Oh my god. <laughs> that smells so good. Dylan, how is it? Nothing in this. Mom secured the cookies. I want to come here and stay a weekend. I do too. I don't know, like all of that walking through Fenny Hall, it kind of reminded me of Kelly Stamps. Literally my dream, okay? I just realized that I've never eaten tiramisu, specifically Italy tiramisu, if you know where I'm going with this. I would love to have tiramisu with Kelly Stamps in Boston. That's like my dream. She used to live there. She made the, like these great vlogs about living in Boston and literally I am ready to be fed tiramisu if you were ever available. 10 out of 10. These are so good. I love, I, my favorite is the regular chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Allie disagrees. Why'd you smell it? You can't smell it. <laughs> Are you top. having a good time, Dad? Let me see. Look. <laughs> Not for nothing. I was big enough to, to CCD three weekends in a row. I'm taking it to. Where do you to, take him? To Sportica. Yeah, because I don't want to my buddy over. So I don't have a yet button? Your rebuttal was weak. The one place that I did want to go where I didn't was the Esplanade. When I lived in Boston, I would literally go there every night. I would walk up until we got to this park, and there were two ledges, and there was one really high pedestal. And every night, I would sit on that pedestal, and I would dangle my feet, and I would just look at the sunset, and just be like content. And at the time, I was like, I was mentally not okay, okay? I was really upset. And I don't think enough people talk about this. Like when you look back and you realize how awful you felt and how different you felt as someone who was mentally sick, you kind of regret all the things you missed out on. Like when I was in Boston in the summer, I felt like, Every place I went to, I was just being carried or I felt like I was floating. You know, nothing was an active decision on my part to go somewhere and enjoy something. Recently, I haven't been feeling that great, 
but going there to Boston reminded me like how far I've come and like how much I don't feel that way anymore. One day I will go back to the Esplanade and I will see the sunset. I'm just really excited for that time to see it as like a new clear headed individual who gets to enjoy things of her own volition again.